When I was 15, I was diagnosed with mental illness. In the beginning, it was depression, which left me feeling angry, frustrated, scared. The initial diagnosis changed over time, from an acute illness, something that comes and goes, to chronic, something that will be with me the rest of my life. As the diagnosis shifted, I struggled, trying to find out who I am and where I fit in. I was a scared, isolated young girl who felt so alone anywhere and everywhere, no matter how many people were in the room. However, all of this was to come to an end. June 2009, I was admitted to hospital yet again. There wasn't anything drastic that should have sent me into another major depressive episode. I went from feeling fine, feeling great, to everything dark and hopeless. I just didn't care anymore. I took another overdose, only wanting to die. Suicide was something I had been struggling with for a long time. Five days later, I realized I was in the psychiatric ward of the hospital in my town and didn't remember anything that had happened in the last few days. It was the scariest experience of my life. I went in to meet with the doctor, who, like many others in my life, told me there was no hope. I would never get better. I realized then that I was the only person who could change my life. I am the only person in charge of my recovery. I no longer want to live the life of hospitalizations and became willing to do everything in my power to achieve my dreams, which can't happen if I'm dead. Today, I am a happy, vibrant, and successful young woman who looks forward to helping others and embraces it with every fiber of me. My only dream is to continue living and help others do so as well.